Good morning, I'm Peter Carney from cityfoodgrowers.com.au This morning I'll be talking to you about making, uh, getting more light from your compost. I'm in my garden in Brisbane, Australia. It's a beautiful sunny morning and the birds are happy. And we've got a compost heap here and our garden is off to the left. We have a large garden here and uh, making enough compost for this garden is always a challenge. Uh, especially if, uh, if I was to want to dig compost into each garden bed at the end of a crop, which is quite common advice in organic gardening. In my own experience, I never have enough compost to do that. And I think most gardeners would be similar. So, how do you stretch your compost to actually get more life out of your compost? I think the first thing to recognise is that compost goes through a life cycle. It's actually a living substance. It's not just minerals and um, lots of other things. It's actually living. And so, when it goes through a life cycle, it gets to a peak. And then it goes down and at the end of the end of that curve it's dirt again and it really has very little life. So in your garden to get the best value out of your compost, it's best to use it when it's at its peak. So there are a few strategies I'd like to talk about in, in achieving that, in getting the peak value out of your compost. The first one is when you're making your compost, it's good to time the making of the compost to when it will be available for your peak plantings. For example, in this garden, I do my peak plantings between March and May and then August and October. So my compost heaps usually take about four months to, to brew and be ready in this state here. This heap was made in November last year. It's not quite there, but it's nearly perfect. Um, so, so for a March-May planting, I would do my compost in November, which is four months. And then for an August-October planting, I would do the compost in April-May. Again, a four-month lag. So there you have your the bulk of your compost ready for your peak planting. And with the compost, you'll know when the compost is in its best condition. It's actually sticky and lumpy and it has a beautiful earthy smell. It's moist and it's usually dark. So you don't need to be a soil scientist to analyse all the minerals and everything in there. You can actually know with your own senses whether it's right. So it really isn't that difficult to assess when your compost is in its best condition to use. Okay, so you've looked at your compost, you've seen it's in a good state. Then how do you stretch it into your garden? How do you make the most of it through the garden? Well, the two key strategies are in planting and caring for your plants and in turning it into a liquid. So, with planting, we'll just do some planting here. So, you get your ball of compost in your hand and with your plant, I have some Mizuna here, which is an Asian green and I'm planting in with some other Asian greens and as a companion for some climbing beans. So the plant has been put straight into the compost and over the years of me working in this garden, the last eight years, I've put compost everywhere throughout here in this exact same process. So all the soil is really the remnant of compost in here, but I've used the compost when it gave the most benefit to the plant. The other time to use compost is when your plants are looking weak 
I mean, as you observe things in your garden carefully, you may see some plants that just look weak. So give them a dose of compost. Put the comp mound the compost around the base of the plant, and you'll be really surprised at how quickly they respond to the compost. Okay, the other thing to do to stretch the life in your compost, that's when your compost is in its peak condition, is to turn it into a liquid. So you get a bucket of water and get some compost, put it in the bucket, all quite simple, stir it and do this for about 10 days and stir it for a minute or so each day and then at the end of the 10 days you'll, uh, you'll have your own fertiliser. So you don't need to go and buy expensive fertiliser to tune up your plants each week or month. Make your own fertiliser from your compost. And when you put this out, you dilute it about, or filter it, because there'll be substance in there, and dilute it about 1 to 10. Okay, so that's, that's all for our movie today. And uh, please visit our website at cityfoodgrowers.com.au and check out our gardener subscription which has all your gardening needs and there's also a blog on my website on this subject as well thank you